um, two, three. All right, this is uh, for the advanced course here in the Bahamas. We're gonna quickly go through the process of what we did in class the other day. So let's just get started by building this app, npm. We've already installed Ionic, so we're not gonna do that. So we're just gonna start with the Ionic, start blank. And then we want it to be with React. So T-Y-P-E equals R-E-A-C-T, React. And uh, we want to hit the blank template. So we'll say blank. We're going to let this run. Making sure it's solving the latest uh, capacitor. I'm on iOS, so maybe I'll go back in and add the uh, capacitor install for iOS, but let's just let this go. Okay, so now let's cd into a new project name blank tab. And we're going to open this in VS Code, so I can just already have that installed. So just type code period for the current directory. And it should launch VS Code for me. Here's VS Code. And from here, I'm going to use the terminal inside of VS Code. So here's my source code. Here's my basic app that got built. That's the test, but here's the basic app. Um, we go up to the top here and I can open a new terminal window. And let's just get our app going. Ionic, Ionic serve. Let this run. It should start up and open up a browser for us. So as you see, I have our basic application open. Let's, so I like to work in my debug, debug environment. So let's open my developer tools. We must switch this to a mobile, so uh, responsive. No, let's switch it to my iPhone. So now we have our basic application running in our browser. Okay, so let's go take a look at the code that was generated. If we look here at app.js, it has a basic router set up here. So here's our Ionic app. And then here's the router outlet, which controls where everything's drawn. It's saying here the, the default path right down here is a slash. So let's look at our, um, if you look here, default slash. And since the default slash says redirect the home, that's why we're seeing the home component. So let's go into the home component. So I don't want to do that, but let's open this up. So we go to pages. The way that it's set up by default is pages are in pages and components that exist inside of pages are in components directory. So in our home page, um, it's got this extended header. I'm going to delete that because I don't really like it or want it. So we're just going to delete this header out of here because we have our header at the top of the page. So we can recompile this. Let's, let's um, split this window a little bit so we can see what's going on with our app. Let's kind of get our app over here on the side. Um, so I've now removed this. Let's remove this Explorer. So we'll take that out. And our app's running and nothing's there. But that's what we want. And then this home, this other component up here, we don't want this component at all. So let's just take it out of here. And so now it's running. And so here we are is, let's put a um, div. In basic app. Now well, let's let's give ourselves some more room so we can write the code and see what's happening. So now we have our in basic app. A couple of pointers. One of the things you want to do is you can always say class name. And Ionic has some default CSS utilities, and so one is put padding all around everything. So if I say ion padding. You can see how it created, I think it's like 16 pixels of padding around everything in the, uh, in the page. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to quickly show you um, how to include some capacitor plugins. And a camera is always one that everyone likes to play with first. So we're going to show you how to get a, plug, a camera plugin here. So let's kind of make this a little bit bigger. Okay. And so we're going to go straight to the plugins. 
and their official plugins and we're going to scroll down to camera and we're going to follow these instructions the install the camera so let's come over here we'll go back into our terminal that we have running and we'll hit control C to cancel that and then let's install the camera so we'll let that happen And so that's done, and then we're going to do an NPX caps. Do I need to do a caps sync? I don't need to do a caps sync. What I want to do is I run a, there's a way to run this as a PWA. And basically what that means is it will, the browser will leverage the um, camera access that browsers have by default. We'll do that first, and then in the second part, we'll actually deploy to a native device and access the camera there. But just for this first phase, we're just going to use the PWA. So with the PWA approach, um, it says PWA elements are required for camera plugin to work. And basically what that means, let's click on PWA elements and um, it kind of breaks it down for you. But since it's implemented as web components, you have to add this Ionic PWA elements to your app. So we're gonna install that. So let's copy that. Um, let's go back over here to my terminal window install the PWA elements. So now that's installed. And then see here you need to go into the beginning of your React application and you need to call this define custom elements. So let's go back to our React application. We'll go down to our app TS, not our app, our index. We'll go, we'll do like them right underneath here to this. We'll just paste the custom. Now it says it, it doesn't know what defined custom elements are. That's because I need this line. So we'll copy that. That's an import statement. And we'll just add it underneath the rest of these imports. We'll save. And so we have that done because that's the React solution. So now let's go back to our camera. So this is a code on how you actually get the camera to appear. So let's see if we can get the camera to appear in this app. Um, so we're gonna go to, let's, uh, we're gonna go back to our homepage. Let's close this to get some more space. And let's see if we can shrink this down so we can have this window open. All right. So, all right. So of course, this is importing um, the specific plugin that we want, which is capacitor camera. But before we import it, we actually need to install the thing. So let's go up to the top and did I already install the camera? Yep, I already installed the camera. So since it's already installed, we will now just copy this line. So we're gonna come into our component in, inside of my home component. Uh, not the import doesn't go there, my bad. The import goes here on the outside. And we now have our camera and the result type, because this is a TypeScript, which we're not gonna do a lot of TypeScript here, but that's what the type is for. Um, and then we're gonna, we're basically gonna copy this code and I'll kind of explain what it's doing. So let's just copy all of this. Let's copy this whole function. And this function has to go inside of your component. So let's place the function inside of the component. Okay. Now, let's talk through what's happening here. So this is, oh, this is a function that we're gonna call and what it's gonna do is gonna call a camera plugin and it'll basically launch the camera. It will take a picture. Um, it will allow editing because it's allowed editing is true and then it will return a, a URL to where the image is located on device. So. Um, it also states that as the result, also as part of the result you'll get from this image is a web path. And we're gonna use that web path to render the image on our homepage. So let's do a couple of things to get that working. Um, first thing first is we actually need a button to click. So let's come in here and we're gonna add ion button. And so that should give us a button and we're gonna say, click me. And now let's go back here and start to see what things look like. 
So let's open this up a bit. I gotta start my application again. So we'll come back down here. Bionic serve. Should start my application again. Okay, so now we're getting an error because um, I'm trying to set this image to something and this doesn't exist yet. So let's just comment this out. But let's console log, console log out the image path. So we'll just say image URL. So we can look at that here in the debug console. So let's refresh this. So there's my click me button. Um, so let's move this a little bit over to the side. And then now we want the click me to actually take. So worked for the event for the button uh, to get the click event. It is on click on click. And then for on click, we want it to run a function. And so here's our function. There's no parameter. And then we want it to call the take the take picture method. Take picture. Okay. And so now it will call take picture. The reason why it's saying promise is that it's an asynchronous call. And so what that means is that it will take the picture, it will wait until the picture is done, until this function is done doing everything it's doing, and then it will return a result here into our image, which we are getting the web path, and then we're going to log out for now just to show that it's working. So um, let's see what we got. We should be able to get the browser to pop up a camera now. So let's um, compile successfully. Let's try it. And that's what we're looking for. There's a picture of me. Hello. Takes the picture. And that's the picture. Um, we say yes. And then we get this image, this URL here. And this is the URL we're going to convert to something we can render. So let's see if we can just do that now. So now we're back in our application. Let's go below the button. And Ionic has another component called Ion Image. And that has a, I believe it has a source. Yes. And we're going to set the source. And the source we're going to set to. So we need to get this value down here in our component. And one of the things that you can do with uh, React is because, as I mentioned, the component will be render when the state has changed. In the latest version of React, there's um, a, the, way you can, the way you create state is we'll create a constant. And we'll say image URL. Well, actually, we'll just say image. So we'll set, say image. Uh, so this is a const image and then set image will set the state. So we'll say set image, I M A G E. Then we do this use state and the initial value of this is null. And now we need to include use state. So we'll click here. We'll add the import from React for use state. And then now, um, ooh, I have an image defined here. Let's just change this from image to, we'll say this is camera, camera result, S-U-L-T. So we get the camera result, and then the camera result web path. But what we want to do is we're going to set our image based on that. So what we do is we use this set image call. So here we're going to say set image. And that will set the image from the web path. And what's it complaining? It's saying that uh, this path is string or undefined. It's not assigned to this type because this is the TypeScript. So we're going to just change this type to a string. And it's still unhappy because it's saying that it can be string or undefined. 
So the easy way to get around it, since we're not going to cover TypeScript, is we're just going to set the type of this result to any. So that means that this value can be of anything, and that should address the type issue. So now the type issue is gone. So what, all we've done here is we're taking the camera result and that URL var variable, we're now doing a set image on it. That will update the state, and so it will force the component to re-render. But now what we have in image is the URL that we wanted. And so let's go down here. Let's console log image here instead, because that's what we want. And then here on source, I think image is what I want to set this here to. Well, let's set it and see what we get. And if that's not right, then we'll go back through it and figure out what it should be. I think that that should be enough. So see, now it doesn't know what to draw because it's blank, but we can fix that later. But let's try taking another picture. And now there's the picture. So this is just something we wanted to quickly cover here. Um, this is the first part of the video. You can see it's running in the web browser. Let's click me, do it again. Um, on the web browser, it also gives you the ability to click this and just select a local image. So um, this is an image that I used before. I can open that and it selects that image and renders it. Um, but what we'll do in the next part is we'll run this through capacitor and we'll show it working on Android and we'll show it working on iOS. So that was really just a quick way to show you how you can integrate plugins into um, your Ionic application and start to get access to native functionality starting with the camera. Um, we have the uh, capacitor camera, which is a plugin. I'll include this links. As you can see, there's additional work you need to do for iOS and Android for permissions. That's why we're going to do that in a separate video. But um, hopefully you found this initial part helpful. And um, I look forward to answering any questions you have about what you've seen. Thanks, and we'll chat later.